Hello there, I'm Hitavi, and in this video I'm going to be starting a brand new Fossils and Archaeology series. This is because this is highly requested, and the rest of the videos I've been trying to upload recently haven't been doing too well. And this is really all I think you guys want to see, and I think it'll be a fun series to do too. Now, I've done series on this in the past, but they were all hardcore, and they all, uh... They all ended pretty early. So this time I'm not playing hardcore, just because it seems like mo for the most part you guys want to have a good long series that isn't just gonna get cut short by a death or something. So right now I guess the first thing to do is just collect some wood. It seems like over here we actually have like one of these archaeologist huts. Interesting. Let's see what's inside here. A bed and some... I'm, I think I'll take this with me actually. For the time being though I'll probably want to get some tools and I can check this out as well. Alright, got a wooden pick. Now I'll get the rest of my tools made up. And I'll arrange my hotbar like so. And I'll just get a little more stone now that I'm here, and then I think I'll go off and try to find somewhere to live. Should probably grab some fossils too while I'm here, it'd be a good thirst. Although, actually, now that I think about it, I think you might actually need iron. So I should probably get that first. I can grab this coal though, that way I can use it to go mining. Alright, what do we have in here? Fossils, coal, and is that a mob spawner? Hold on. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted to see. Oh. Is he gone? Okay. Oh, there's some iron. Okay. More iron. Oh, I almost missed this. Alright, we still got some daylight, so I think what I'll do now is cook up this iron, and then I can start working on an iron pickaxe so I can start mining these fossils. And a little more always helps. And here we go, my first iron pick. And there we go. Now I have enough iron for armor as well, but I don't know if I'm gonna go for that just yet. And now that I do have this iron pick, I can start getting some fossils. There we go. Guess I'll spend the rest of the night mining. Oh, there's the mob spawner. Uh, I'm pretty close, so I probably wanna just quickly run in there and deactivate it. Okay, come on. Okay, I think we're good. Just in case though, I'm gonna be extra careful. Okay, so what do we have in here? Saddle, okay, that's pretty good. Name tag. Golden apples. Alright, not bad. Guess it might be helpful to actually just take the chests, too. Ooh, okay, that's pretty interesting. Got a broken sword. These are pretty cool, although I think it really only equals, like, an iron sword as far as damage goes, but it's still pretty cool. Ooh, and I got a Therizinosaurus leg bone. That's pretty cool. Seems like it's day now, so I guess I'll just get out of this cave. First things first, probably gonna want some food. Sorry. Alright, I think I'm actually gonna wait for a night, then I'm gonna sleep in here. Then I'm gonna go out and explore and look for a place to live. Alright, I've actually made myself a bed, so I can go out now, but I'm no pleb, so I'm not just gonna sleep in a white bed. Once this food finishes up, I'm gonna go out. Oh, I hear a tar slime. That looks dangerous. I think I might just leave it. From previous experience, I remember them being pretty dangerous if they attacked you. Maybe we can just see about trying? Okay. Okay. That's why I hate these things. I don't even know how to deal with these. Well, that's my first death. Like, look, these things just have to, like, touch- look. I can't even describe it, but like, once they touch you, you just keep taking damage. I don't understand it at all. Even a little one. Like, look! What's going on? How am I supposed to deal with this? Like, what? I guess it's not a Deathless series, then. What I am gonna do before I go, though, is grab some of that tar, because that can be very useful in the future, even just one bucket. Alright, it's a new day, and I'm ready to hit the road. Oh, a village. This could be a good place to stop. I don't think I want to live here, but for now, this could be a good place to just set up shop. Oh, and it even comes with an analyzer. And some fossils. Okay. Definitely gonna yoink this. Ooh, this is interesting. I think I'll set up right here. Being that this is a fossils and archaeology series, I guess the first thing I should do is analyze these fossils. And nothing. Alright, let's see what I get from the rest of this. And while I have this sword and all these relic scraps, I might as well try and restore it. Ooh! 
Plesiosaurus, that's an interesting one. I plan on living near the ocean at least, so I can take advantage of that. Oh, Ichthyosaurus! Well, I guess the game really wants me to do some stuff with the ocean. Oh, Stegosaurus, that's a good one. Lyoplorodon! Wow, the game definitely wants me to live with the ocean. Oh, Adaphosaurus and Sarcosuchus, so I guess that makes up for the ribcage. That's very interesting. Alright, that's it for the biofossils, but 6 DNA out of like 24 fossils? That's pretty good! And I got some decent DNA too, so now I'll do these tar drops. These usually have a decently high success rate, and I can even get more using these tar buckets, so that's good. Ooh, Forushrakos! I really like Terror Birds, so I'm really happy about that one. Alright, that's it for all of the fossils and stuff I have to analyze, but that was a pretty good haul. Once again, I don't want to live here forever, but this is just a good place to get stuff set up while I kind of mark out a location, but I think nearby here could be pretty good. I want to not live in the savannah, though. I'm not a big fan of that. Alright, now it's time to find a place to live. This area over here looks kind of interesting. Let's see. Good distance from spawn. It's a nice open area. I think I'll live here. I think first things first, though, I should set some of my stuff down. Just gonna make something extremely makeshift really quick. Well, that worked out well. Alright, it's small, but it's cozy, and it'll do for now. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do now is actually take a bunch of my stuff and just put it in this chest. Gonna make another trip as well back to the village so then I can take the stuff there and bring it over here. So I guess I'll come back with the stuff. Alright, I've got all the stuff from my house that was really important and even just a couple sentimental things like my first crafting table, my first pick, and my first bed. Guess I should probably place this down now and sleep as well. So uh, for now, right here is fine. And I guess now I should get working on getting some dinosaurs. Should probably get some crops planted as well, that way I can start feeding animals and get a good food source. And I think another good thing to do would be to get some animals as well, so I'll just quickly bone meal up some wheat so I have that, and then I'll try to wrangle some cows, sheep, and maybe some chickens too. Now I'll just get these chickens into their new home. Oh, there's some wolves over there with that cow. Maybe I can go get a pet dog. Here we are. All right. Was there more, or just one? Here we go. Okay. Gonna give you a yellow collar, give you a gray collar, and it looks like there's a third one. And I'll just leave you with red. Okay, what should I name these three guys? Tell me in the comments, and I'll see you on the next video. I'll just bring these cows back really quick. Alright, there we go. And now one thing I know is, if I do want to actually get to making dinosaurs, I'm gonna need to get some slime. So I think what I'm gonna do now is actually go on a little adventure to try to get some. Oh my gosh, I've been running forever, but I just got, like, back to near spawn. I'm basically, like, at spawn and there's a swamp here. I actually think I kind of remember seeing this now. The reason I ran back to spawn, though, is because I remembered seeing horses there. But this'll do. I definitely want to get a horse, though, for the way back as well, because it's going to be a long way. Okay, it's just turned night, and now the swamp should be spawning some slimes. Not seeing any yet. Come on, I just need one slime to spawn. I literally just need one slime ball. That's it. It's been a while, and I still haven't seen any slimes. It's starting to worry me. Are we really gonna get no slimes? Looks like I got no slimes. That's awesome. What I may have to do is just make a big dark area so I can do this during the day. It's a lot easier and, you know, don't have to deal with this crap. Finally! Oh my gosh. Now I just have to hope this drops a slime ball. Oh crap. Oh, it did. Thank God, I only needed one. Okay, now I can get out of here, and even just running around everywhere, that was the first one I saw in two nights. Guess now I can sleep and then go back. Glad that's over. Alright, I guess it's time to head home. Alright, I finally made it back home, and my inventory is bursting. But I think the best thing to do right now is actually make that culture vat I'm gonna need in order to start getting dinosaurs. Alright, now I think this is everything I should need to make it. I might be able to remember this off the top of my head. I think the slime goes there and the glass goes here. Yep, there we go. All right, so I can use this to start making some dinosaurs. So first of all, this little thing I have right here isn't a very good setup. Probably gonna want to expand, but I don't have the blocks I'm gonna need yet, so... I think I'm gonna dig underground and try to make like a separate little area for doing some of the, uh, like, cultivating dinosaurs, so that in case I do get a failure saurus, I can keep it down there. That way, when it walks around, it makes slime. And I can use that to then get more culture bats. So I don't have to go back and do that awful process of trying to find slime in the swamp. 
And now I'm gonna put this right here so it's not touching the wall. That way it's not at risk of like suffocating in case I do get a failure source. And I wonder what the first DNA I should actually make should be. Um, I'm thinking maybe Stegosaurus would be good. Either that or Furushrakos, I'm not sure yet. I think I'll make Furushrakos first, but I'll do Stegosaurus right after. Oh, and I'm also just remembering something else I'm actually gonna need. I'm gonna need Bio Goo, which if I remember off the top of my head, I think is like milk, rotten flesh, wheat, and eggs, I believe. I think this is how you make it. Yep, there we go. So now I can use this to cultivate up this Furushrakos DNA. And now hopefully this should give me a Furushrakos, but if it doesn't, that's fine, because then I can use that Failuresaurus I get to try and get some more slime. So I'll just board that up for now. And I guess for the time being, I'll just fix my chest. Maybe I'll try to actually upgrade this house to just be a bit bigger. I guess I'll do that. Alright, it's been a little while, and the Furushrakos DNA should be done cultivating any minute now, so let's just see. And there we go! That's a cultivated Furushrakos egg. This is my first dinosaur. Well, I guess it's not really a dinosaur, it's an ancient bird, but what should I do with this? Where should I start it? Maybe I'll just give it its own little pen quickly. Guess I'll use cobblestone walls for now. Okay, this is by no means permanent, but this'll do for now. This is just going to be a temporary little place to keep it. I'm definitely going to expand this in the future, change it up, but for now, I just want to get it down, you know, it'd be nice to have. It'd be also good to analyze some of this biofossil I have, too. Oh, wow! We've already got a Pachycephalosaurus DNA and another Stegosaurus DNA. Well, guess I'll do Stego next. All right, now I got the last of what I need for this little enclosure. And now I'll put down my baby Furushrakos. Hello, little one. Hold on, I should make a Dinopedia, actually. Wow, another Pachy DNA. Well, guess we're gonna get a good few herbivores. It might have been biofossils in books. Yeah, that's what it was, okay. Put this in here, and now get it going. Now that I have this Dinopedia, though, I can actually use this to look at my new Furushrakos. You a male or a female? I think that's a female, right? Yep. Female. It's cool. Very cool. Either way though, really cool that I got that. I think I'll just put in some water or something just to make it a little cooler. Here's just a little log. Make sure it can't get out though. Let's give you a little bit of water as well. And there we go. It's a pretty good enclosure, I think. For now at least. Oh, we got some Megalodon and Dodo DNA as well. That's pretty interesting. Oh, looks like we got a failure Saurus. All right, first thing I'd like to do is board this up so that it can't get out. And now I need to contain it. So I have these walls. I can use that to try and contain it. Okay. Where is it? Uh-oh. Uh, I need to have a water bucket handy. Stay back. Ow. So it, maybe it can live in that little room I created over there. probably have more doors, actually. I might need to name it if I want it to not despawn, but I'm not sure. All right, I guess I'll just leave this right here. I guess if I want more slime balls, I can just do this. Uh-oh. Where is he? Give me some slime. Hey, don't give me attitude. Give me slime. Hey. Bad, bad monster. All right, that should be more than enough for now. What should I name this guy? I don't know. Comment it below. Now let's get this going. And the Stegosaurus egg is ready now, so I guess I'll find a place to put this as well. Guess I can just clear out an area pretty quickly. Okay, for now I think this area should be fine, so I think I'll make some fences and then I'll fence this in. Alright, here's the last of the fences for the Stego enclosure. And now I can pop down the baby Stego. Alright, it's gonna take a little while. I definitely should try to stay nearby for when it hatches. Oh, egg's starting to shake. It's getting close. I really hate myself sometimes. I did not mean to do that. Alright. Guess I'll make the feeders then. I looked up the recipe because I forgot it. There we go. Some of these recipes are really annoying. I guess I'll put this in with the four Shrakos. Here's a feeder. Let's see, how much does a cooked pork chop give? 55. That gives 45. I guess it's a little better to do this. Alright, let's just probably sleep and then check on the stego. I just remembered the ste- Oh no, I wasn't there for when it was born. Okay. You can still tame them, but was I close enough? No, I wasn't. Okay, it's a male. 
Oh, I completely forgot. Why did I have to be an idiot and punch that egg? All right, you still can tame them, but I don't know if they have to be a certain age. Basically, you whip them. Uh, it's like a fishing rod, I think, but it's slightly different, maybe? Yeah, there we go. It's not the nicest to do to a baby, but it has to be done. There he is. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Maybe you have to feed him? I don't know. Maybe it has to be a certain age. Either way, guys, what should we name him? Guess it's a good time to put in a feeder, then. Okay, carrots should be a good food source for these guys, then. I'll just do them all. Alright, eat up. Oh, and I think the packy should be done now, too. Yep, there we go. So I can put this in. Alright, now hopefully I'll remember to stay by you. And I'll check on my little Furushrakos. Oh wow, you look different. How many days? You're age one. Okay, so that's pretty cool. One thing I'd really like to do now is get my house built up, which I guess this is going to be really my lab. Like, for any of you that watched my Fossils and Archaeology 100 Days, I was kind of just living in a place that I referred to as the lab. That's what I want to have here, too. I want my house to be like a lab. That's where I can, like, make dinosaurs and stuff like that. You know what I mean. I'm gonna have to probably gather a few resources, although I have a lot of the, uh, like, stone now, so let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna use this to make stone bricks, and then that should be helpful for making my house. So let's see. All right. Now I'm gonna check on the packy, so hopefully I don't forget that, too. Uh, I don't see the egg. Did I mess it up again? Wow, I suck at this. What are you? You're a female. Okay. So this time, I'm gonna get both eggs at the same time and make sure I stand by them. So that way I can't mess it up again. I guess now it'd be good to maybe start working on my house. I guess stone brick would be a good sort of trim, almost. So like where I have b these cobblestone blocks, for example. So kind of just like this. All right, done quite a bit of shoveling and now I think I should have enough snow to just kind of fill in the areas I want to do with quartz. It is kind of an ugly block, but it's just filler for quartz. All right, that's that. And for the floor, I think I want to do birch planks. So find a birch forest or something. Yeah, we have some birch here. I can just use that to grow some up really quick. All right, just finishing up the floor and there we go. So now I'm going to take these two eggs I have and I'm going to hatch them. And this time I'm not going to be an idiot and move away from them right before they hatch. Just make sure I have the Dinopedia. So they're both hatching, right? Yeah. Look at the Furoshrakos over there. Make sure you guys n leave name suggestions for all of these guys, by the way. Alright, should hatch any second now. <laughs> Just walking through. Alright, here we go. Hey, there we go. That looks like a male. It's a different color. What about this? Is this also a... This is also a male. Okay, so the only female is the, pa the other Paki, I believe. And the other and the Furoshrakos. Alright, that's cool. I'm very happy with what we have right now. As for the lab, though, I think I should do a bit more work on this. And for the roof, what I think I actually want to do, instead of just like a flat roof or curved, or like, you know, curving in or something, I think I want to actually put plants on top of it. I think that could look really good since it is kind of supposed to be like a science -y lab kind of place. So I think I actually got some fossilized fern spores, although that's not really what I'm mainly after. I want to get some of the special plants. So where are the plant fossils? They're over here. Okay, I am blind. All right, so I guess I'll just split this up in two, see what I get. Right now though, I would like to start cultivating some of these fern spores because they can actually be a very good food source for herbivores. So let's just come down here, put that in. Ooh, looks like we got a petrified Sigillaria sapling and some fossilized Saginotera seeds. It's pretty cool, and some more fern spores. Okay, what do we have in here? Okay, these are pretty cool. All right, it's been a little while. I've actually got a decent amount of iron, so I'll just smelt that up. And I'll check on the seeds as well. I didn't see anything about them failing, so yep, there we are. This is a tree, so I'm interested to see how this actually looks. So maybe I'll put this in the herbivore enclosure. Some of the trees, though, can get pretty huge, so I do have to be careful about this. In the meantime as well, I'll cultivate this sapling up as well. There we go. Alright, now let's see what we got here. Oh! Oh yeah, that's definitely one of the huge ones. <laughs> Guess that's a lot of wood, and could use that for building? If I remember correctly, I think it should actually come out green, so... Guess I'll get chopping. Alright, and my next sapling should be done any second now, and then I can use that to see what the others look like. So I guess I'll grow this and see what we get. Alright, let's see what this one is. That's actually pretty good, I kind of like that. Okay, so I'll chop it. Eh, I don't even know if I want to chop it down. I guess I gotta get more, so. Just chop this one down. 
I might just do oak trees in this one or something, because I kind of think they fit the plains biome a little better. And I kind of want to go for like a plains look with the herbivore pen. But maybe for like a T-Rex pen or a Therizinosaurus pen, these could be really cool. All right, now I'm going to try putting one of these in and I'll see what I get. And now I think I'm going to take some of the smooth stone I have and just craft it into stone slabs and I can kind of use that for the roofs. Let's see how that turns out. All right, so now I'll just make my way up here. And now what I have in mind is for the corners, I'm going to do two high. And then for the actual inside, I'm just going to go one high. There we go. And now what I plan on doing here is kind of having dirt on here. That'll kind of almost be like a garden I can have up here, which I think is going to end up looking pretty good. So I guess I'll get started on that. All right. Now, do you bone meal these or... Hmm. I should probably also make a way to get up to the roof. All right, now this is pretty good. Definitely gonna wanna make this longer though. All right, now these should be the final slabs. And there we go. So now I just gotta get some plants down. I guess I should maybe make some more types of plants now too. There we go. Now let's see if this is fully grown or not. Um, okay, apparently this is fully grown. Do you need shears to break these? Nope, you can just pick them up, okay. So I guess I'll use these just right here. I think it looks all right. Although they kind of hang off a bit. Maybe I can find a place where they don't hang off at all. Uh, they don't really hang off here too much. That's a little bit, but it's not bad. And I guess while I wait for the rest of my plants to cultivate, I could maybe try putting these down in the dinosaur area to make it look a little better. Now, I don't believe they can eat them. What I do with it? Oh, uh, that sounds bad. Guess I should go check on what just happened. Oh, we got a failure plant this time. I was kind of thinking about placing those up there too, because I've actually kind of tested these out before. So what I can do is just take one of these, put it here, and now I can bone meal it to get more. Right? I thought it just dropped more- huh, wait a minute. I thought it just, like, spread more of them. I could- it's weird. Hold on. I thought you just dropped them like a two double tall flower. Let's see, what if I place it down here? Does it work then? Oh wait, no, these spread like other flowers, but why doesn't it seem to be- oh, there we go. Is this broken or something? Well, now it's working. Okay. Oh, we got a bunch of these now. Guess I can use them for decoration. Now let's experiment with these. Alright, we got a decent amount of them around. Looks alright, and I believe nothing will eat those, which is a little unfortunate, but it's fine. And now I can place these up here as well. This one kind of hangs off. I'm going to see if I can do any better. This one's definitely better. Okay. So now I'll just try to get some more plants, and I need to remake that culture vat. And here we go. Alright, we now have these Cradiagus seeds or whatever. So now I can just pop those other seeds in. Grab some bio goo, which I'm getting low on. I should probably craft some more soon and get them going. All right, let's pop this down. I actually like that a lot. I think that works here really well. Now, I think these should be close to done, right? Yep, they're done. All right, so let's see what this gives us. Okay, this doesn't look bad. Now let's bone meal it and get some more. I have some extras of these. I might as well place them in here for them. I also want to see if you can actually put these in feeders. Do they give anything? No, you can't put them in feeders. Okay, that's fine. Oh, wait just a minute. This stego's, like, grown up now. Hold on. Does, are you the one that I didn't tame? Yeah, so does that mean I can tame you now? Let's see. Let's just try. I feel like this should work now. Maybe I need food here. You like these, right? Okay, let me try now. Still won't let me tame. Oh, whatever. Alright, now let's just get these down. And there we go. I think right now, for the most part, my house is looking good. I'm not completely done with it, but I'm happy with how it looks for now. As for out here though, I definitely need to liven it up a bit more. So I think what I wanna do is try and plant some trees. So I'll just get some oak saplings really quick. And let's see what we can do with this place. First of all though, I'd like to try and get one of those like really tall oaks. So I'm just gonna get some blocks really quick. I think you need to place it like two or three high in order to get those. Let's just see, maybe it was three or two, I don't remember. Uh, it didn't work. Okay, whatever. Actually, one thing I remember is that leaves were really good for herbivore food, so actually I'm gonna make some shears and I'm gonna collect those because 
I remember them being a really good source of herbivore food. So I'm killing two birds with one stone as well, so I want to get rid of the leaves too. And now if I drop them in here, you'll see that they filled up by like 20 each, which is really good because they're super easy to get. There we go, that'll be fine for now. I'll just put the rest of the leaves in here. Should give them a ton of food then. Maybe I'll do like one more right here, hoping this one will be decently tall. There we go, that's perfect. Okay. I think that's pretty good for now. Now you're basically an adult now, right? Like, you're age seven, does that mean I can ride you? No, not yet. I know you can ride, or maybe it's only the largest terror birds actually, I'm not 100% sure. Alright, since the last clip I've shown, it's been a little while, I've grown some ferns, I've put in some more plants in the enclosure as well, and I put one in there so hoping it would spread, so I kept them all away from it, because last time I tried to place one down, that stego ate it. So hopefully it'll be able to grow, and I'm pretty sure the Furushirakos is fully grown now. It's age 8, it might get a little bigger, I'm not 100% sure. So far though, I'm actually pretty happy with how my house has come out. Once again, definitely going to change it in the next episode, I think I might actually change the roof out to be like the special glass from this mod that way it won't be so dark in here i guess i'll check on Ooh, okay i put in a biofossil i think i got mosasaurus just yet another water creature i can have so we already have plesiosaurus ichthyosaurus and lyoplorodon now we have mosasaurus too and sarco is also kind of semi-aquatic as well and that's insane we're gonna have some water area but i think that's something i'm gonna save for next episode i'm pretty happy with what i've gotten done today you know i got this big old herbivore pan i got that furu shrakos enclosure as well i think it's pretty good before this episode ends though i'd just like to remind you guys to leave name suggestions for all these guys in the comments. We have the two Stegosauruses, both of them are males, a male Packy and a female Packy, as well as the Forushrakos and a blue Failureosaurus. So make sure you guys leave name suggestions for them in the comments below. I'd also like to ask you to consider subscribing, that way you guys won't miss any of my new fossils and archaeology videos, and as well as that you guys can take part in the polls I have to decide what I'll do in my next video. For example, my aisle video I did recently, I did that because I did a poll and it was tied for first so I just chose it. But that'll be it for this episode, I hope that you enjoyed the video, and with all that out of the way, I hope that you have a good day. Oh, <laughs>